What I'm going to try to do this week is to ask how violence can be regulated, controlled, how there can be rules, and also looking at the relationship between men and women. Can we have the joust up, please? First of all, jousting is an unbelievably rough contact sport. You've got this great big horse, you've got a big, tall, strong man, you've got a lance weighing 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds. What is the impact going to be? About, about, I reckon about 150 pounds. Ah, uh, well, no, it's vastly more than that. Five it's the equivalent pounds. of a small car crash. What are all these marshals doing? They're watching. Yeah, but watching to do what? Making sure it's played No, fair. like, many play refereeing. They're, they are refereeing. They're enforcing rules. Oh. It's rules that turn random violence into a sport. Who is in the pavilion above the king? It's the, women. Women. the queen. Who will present the prize? The woman. The woman, yeah. If you think of the world of sport nowadays, what would be the nearest equivalent to Catherine? A wag. A wag, yeah. It would Katie be a wag. Bird. Catherine is exactly the same yeah, as a wag, isn't she? She's the yeah, goddess. I get it. The man is supposed to worship her. The most powerful way in which you introduce rules in male behaviour okay. is, sexy is that sexy women and making men, to use a word we're all using a lot, respectful of women. You are moving in a world in which we've forgotten these rules. Even 30, 40 years ago, what was a man supposed to do when a woman walked into a room? Uh, stand. Stand, stand, up. Stand, stand, up. Stand, stand up. Stand up. What were you supposed to do Curtly. if you were at a door and a woman came up? Open the door. You, supposed, you were supposed to open the door. Ladies and first. That was all regarded. And they put their jackets over puddles, didn't they? And, and they uh, well, that was, that was, that was, who did that? The queen. It was the who, queen. Yeah, but it was, <laughs> it was, it was for which queen? Queen Elizabeth the And who did it? Oh, I'm trying to think. It was Sir Walter Raleigh, and yeah, there's this great flourish. In other words, he is being courtly. Yeah. So what we've done, we're learning how rules start to come into human behaviour. So, rules... first question, would you ever take your jacket off and put it in a puddle for a woman? No. No, we don't. But then I'm gay. But, um, and, probably ba and probably bad mannered. And probably bad mannered. Would you do it for a fella then? Yes. Um, would you do it for a fella? No. Unless he was very good looking. <laughs> <laughs>